Hey guys, it's me, Abby, and today I'm going to be showing you all three ways to escape from Rattlesnake Springs in The Escapist 2. The first way to escape is called Perimeter Breakout. There's a lot of ways to do this, but I'm going to tell you one that you can do in just a couple of minutes. Just note that this is multiplayer only, so you'll need to have a friend to do this. The first thing you got to do is go up to the top of the map, right above the main building. Once you're there, there's a small building that can only be accessed by a multiplayer door. So have someone open the door, and then once someone's in, they push the button for everyone else. Then you go down the ladder, and there's a desk with a sturdy pickaxe in it. Once you have the sturdy pickaxe, use another multiplayer door to get everyone into the mine shaft. Then go down and to the right until you come across a wall, which you need to mine through. And then you keep going down and to the right until you find an intersection where you go up and to the right. Then you will find another wall, and once you mine through it, exit the mine. Once you've exited the mine, go to the right to escape. The second way to escape is called Zip It Up. Please remember that this one is for single player only. In this you will need to read 60 intellect. Then you will need to craft a crossbow. In order to do that you will need a crossbow body component which can be crafted using a bolt and two timber and you will need a crossbow lathe component which can be crafted using a dowel, a piece of string, and some glue. Once you have both components, you just need one more piece of glue, and then you can craft the crossbow. The next thing you will need is a fake red key. In order to do this, first craft a wad of putty using talcum powder and toothpaste, and then craft molten plastic using a lighter and either a comb or a toothbrush. Once you do that, you have to beat up a guard that has a red key and then take it. Then quickly craft a red key mold using the putty and the key. After that, I would suggest dropping the red key because soon after it's stolen, it causes a lockdown. And if you have the key on you during the lockdown, the dogs will come and beat you up. Once all that is taken care of, use the key mold with the molten plastic to make a fake red key. Then go up to the top left of the map where you will find a guard quarters and enter the guard quarters and go up a staircase on your left. Then go down a hall on the right and go up another staircase that's in a room down the hall. Then go up one last staircase and go over to a pole with a rope on it to escape. The last way to escape is called Take Out the Trash. In this you will need 60 intellect. And please remember that this is multiplayer only and you cannot do this by yourself. First thing you will need is a breathable trash bag for each one of your players. The way you craft one is first by making a breathing mask, which can be crafted with a handkerchief, one green tubing, and some duct tape. Then you will need another piece of duct tape, a trash bag, and the breathing mask to create the breathable trash bag. Please remember that all these crafting materials can be found in desks. After you've crafted a breathable trash bag for each player in your game, the last thing you will need is a fake cyan key card. To do that, first you need to get a wire and a circuit board. Then you will need to beat up a guard and get the cyan key card to craft a cyan key card mold component. I would suggest being close to your desk, quickly putting the component in there once it's crafted, because if you have the real cyan key card on you when a lockdown starts, dogs will go after you. After that, you need to craft melted plastic, which you craft by using a lighter and either a comb or a toothbrush. Then use the melted plastic with the mold to craft the fake key card. The last thing you need to do is make sure you all have your breathable trash bags with you and head to the south part of the prison 
where there will be a waste disposal room. You will need to open up the room with the key card and then everyone needs to go over to the trash bin and escape. hey guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to like and subscribe and i do post other content on my channel if y'all would like to check that out also a quick shout out to my cousin finn for helping me with this video i would not have been able to escape without him anyways i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and i will catch y'all in the next video bye